your secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about Hello guys and today I'll be showing you how to change your NAT type from strict to open or moderate to open, same thing. Alright guys, basically I've had this problem for the past four, well six months probably because I've had the 360 and that had the same problem on there. Basically I have the problem where I can't connect to people's games and parties but my NAT type is moderate. So... I did this uh, little trick and it worked for me and I'll be showing you guys today how I do it. Basically we'll go into port forward our uh, Xbox One, I haven't told you it's on the Xbox One, should have told you that but you know, yeah. So let's get started. First things first you want to go down to the start menu and type in CMD which is the command prompt and once you open it you want to type in IP config enter I have to block out uh, some of these IP, IP addresses for personal reasons and you want to look for default gateway which should be about here if you can't see my mouse pointer and take that figure or number or IP address and put it in your web browser so mine is this I don't know if you probably won't be able to see it there we go and once you're in it, we are in our router settings. I'll probably have to block out most of the addresses, just ignore them. Alright, if you have BT Home and 4, it's simple. Just go to advanced settings and it should ask you for a password. Usually, you just type in admin, but for this, it's at BT. So you have to type in the password, which is on the back of your router or router. I've already got mine, so I'll just quickly type this in. So it's... I was quickly, oh, I've done it wrong, well, and there we go, enter that stuff in, continue to advanced settings, and once you're in the advanced settings, you go to firewall, once you're in firewall, this is the little, what should come up, and if this is blank, you're on the right tracks. First, you want to go to manage games and applications, and what you want to click add new game or application and you want to click no on this little option here and this is basically your port forwarding your games and the Xbox for it to get you on an open laptop so type in whatever this I've got a little pop-up bar that will come up right now and it'll tell you what to type in so if you're on Xbox one you want to type in Xbox one yep so type in Xbox one once you've done that you go for the uh, done that. And you go to protocol. You want uh, you want to put TCP. That's the first one on there. And you want to go to this website called portforward.com. I'll put that in the description. And basically, here you can have all the games ever created. Pretty much that uses multiplayer. You got your TCP ports, UDP ports, and yeah, you got to scroll down. Do you see Xbox One, which is pretty close. Uh, just went past it and there is Xbox One TCP port was the first one I think yes it was and I got to find that again TCP is the first uh, column or row as you call, call it I don't really know but oh, I've gone too far I've done it. there's so many Xbox 360 games why oh, face palm alright so here we are Xbox One so you see these figures here these individual figures you want to take the 53 from here and put it in here. You can copy and paste it, but for this purpose, I'll just type it in. Once you've done 53, you add that, and then you keep go to TCP because it's still the TCP column. Then you go 80, then you go 80. When you've done that, you add that last port, which is the 307, 3074. When you do that, 307. Or it's easier just to copy and paste the bigger numbers so you guys can do that but I'll just do it for video purposes so that's pretty much it for the TCP ports you want to add that then when you want to go to UDP for this it's a longer bit longer numbers and I'll fast forward this part and I'll fast forward the parts that 
you need to do because it'll be just be boring for you guys just watch me input these little digits all right guys i'll see you guys in a minute Alright guys, I have done it, uh, as you can see we have the FIFA, we have Advanced Warfare, we have the Call of Duty uh, whole general, and uh, the Xbox One. As long as you've got the game, the Xbox One, you're all fine and dandy. Once you've done that, you want to go to back to full port folding. And this time, you want to find the names that you named your devices to. So I named mine Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare, one of them, so and I select the device. Important piece of information is that your device is your Xbox One and it should be unknown or if you've named it. So mine is unknown 51A, whatever that is. All I've got to do is click that for everyone and then click add and you can easily find it. If you don't know if yours is unknown or you can find it on your Xbox in your network settings pretty easily. And yeah, let's just finish making these and we will do this Xbox One. There we go, made that because this is what we just made. And you add it again. I didn't click it. <laughs> Troll. And we shall find FIFA. FIFA 15. And there we go. And unknown again. And you add that. Uh, there we go. And. There's one last one which is what Call of Duty. I don't know which one it is, but you know, let's just do any. Uh, they're both the same, I think, anyway, yeah. There you go, add. And then. Well, yeah. There we go. If you're on Xbox 360, you want to go down to Xbox Live and pull forward that to your Xbox. I'll just do that because it ain't going to harm anything. So I'll just do that for video purposes. And there we are guys we are done with this and once you're done don't forget to apply because once you're applied changes are done because if you just x off all that hard work will just be gone there like that and yeah that's it guys for today's video and i did this and it fixed my problems i could connect to anyone uh, in my friends because I used to be able to not connect to some people because they're not type proper but now I can I used to not be able to play private matches with my friends but now I can because it's simple port forwarding method with the BT Home, Home Hub 4 alright guys thanks a lot for watching today's video and I'll see you in my next video